All right, so hey y'all, what's up? Uh, in this video, I'm gonna talk about how I prospect, okay? Uh, I'm still in the beginning stages of like my whole web development company type deal. Um, so I'm just telling you about how I do it. It's gonna be a short video. You can like, subscribe, and comment. Stuff is cool. Uh, my focus on actually building my web development company. So that's why I'm gonna do some work after this. And my coffee's getting cold. So, so pretty much, okay, so how I prospect. First of all, you gotta understand um what it's all about in this particular like niche okay when you look at what you're actually doing right okay let's look at an uh, inbound uh an inbound situation where somebody's calling you basically it's other factors that that's outside of your realm of your control that is influencing somebody to pick up the phone give you a call hey eric i need a website okay so basically what you want to do well what i what my mom said is I want to find people that's currently in that situation. So what I do is I generate a list of business off Google. And what I do is I just, I just, I, I want to sort through them. Okay. I'm sorting. Okay. I'm not trying to convince nobody of anything at this point. I'm just, I just want to sort through people that understands what I need. Okay, because you got different types of customers. You got, you got, you got the customers that you have to educate about your solution um because you got different stages of awareness about a customer some customers they are not aware of the problem they're not aware of anything you have to spend a lot of money repeatedly getting from it getting in front of those customers and educating them about the problem all right once they understand they have a problem they have to find out the solution once they understand they understand they have the solution the solution they got to find out why you should fix it so you know so pretty much yeah that's that so what I want to do is I really, I really, I want to sort through all these different people, right? So that's my, that's my mindset is I want to sort. So I pick up the phone, all right? And I say, hey, how are you doing? Um, my name is Eric. I introduce myself, okay? Um, because when you pick up the phone, somebody's going to be like, um, you know, well, who is this? Who's calling me? What do you want? Like a stranger call, you can be like, okay, who is this? So typically what I do is I pick up the phone, right? I say, hey, how you doing? My name is Eric. Um, I'm just giving a call to X, Y, and Z business. Um, I just want to introduce myself. I'm not going to take up a lot of time. I just give a quick call because I want to introduce myself. Right. Um, and what that does is that really disarms a person because generally what happens is people, uh, they don't know you. That means they don't trust you. It's the biggest thing is going to prevent you from getting a deal is trust, a lack of trust. So what happened is I just introduced, I introduced myself. Hey, how you doing? My name is Eric. I'm just the reason for the cause. So I just want to introduce myself to you for this place of business. Um, typically, you know, um, I came across your website and uh, I just thought about, you know, what I do. I make affordable and professional websites. And uh, I just want to check and see if you thought about updating your website anytime soon. Right. That's that's literally what I say. So in real time, this is how it goes. Ding, ding, ding. Bring, 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 bring. Hey, how you doing? My name is Eric. Um, I just want to give a call to XYZ in business. Um, um, I'm not going to take up too much of your time, but I just want to introduce myself really quick. My name is Eric. I make affordable, affordable and professional websites. And I was given a call to see if you thought about updating your website anytime soon. From that point, they're going to tell me, Hey, listen, uh, no, sometimes you get hard rejections. Sometimes you can get people that's interested. Right. And then it goes from there. Right. People that's interested. I say, Hey, can I send you, I'm, um, you know, I want I would like to send you my portfolio. Okay. My portfolio is pretty good. Okay. I don't have a lot of projects in there, but I do have some projects in my portfolio. Right. One, one, one of the uh, projects in my portfolio is I, I made a Netflix clone. You can actually find that YouTube tutorial on YouTube. I made a Netflix clone. It looks just like Netflix. All right. Customers see that they like, you made that. I'm like, yep. From scratch. Right. And it really, it really blows their socks off. So and it, and and my whole thing is when I cold call, I don't want to sell my product. I don't want to sell my service. I just want to. Hey, I just want to introduce myself. I make websites. You ever thought about getting a website made anytime soon? If so, let me send you some information. Let me send you a text message. You know, let me send you my portfolio. And then what I do is the art of the follow up. I'm following up with a customer like probably about three or four times. You know what I'm saying? Three or four times I follow up. I love following up in person because once once people can like see your face and stuff like that, the more touches, the more times you follow up and they, they see you, it just builds trust that much faster. 
So I like to follow up in person pretty good. So that's pretty much it. You know, that's pretty much what I do. Uh, cold calling. Uh, once I get a business to raise their hand and say, hey, look, I can possibly need your service. Um, then from that point, I pretty much I guess you can say I sell, my, I sell myself at myself. I just get in the phone. I, I, I display my knowledge. I show that I'm excited. Hey, I really want to work on this project. You know, this is what I do. This is who I am. I tell them my story, right? Who I, you know, my backstory. You know, I tell them my plans, what I got for the future. I show them my website, my deals. And I was like, hey, man, I would really love to be able to show you maybe like a mock example of what I can do for you. A lot of questions that I get is like, how long does it take you to do a website, right? Uh, I typically tell them like it takes me around two weeks. Right. Because what I do, I know how to code. OK. But the thing is, if I have like five deals lined up, then I can't like it doesn't make sense for me to code from scratch. It's like the whole craftsman It's like, listen, give me a template and then I'll go from there. Right. I know how to code. OK. JavaScript, SAS, Node.js, right. CSS, you know, I know how to code. So it's like you give me you give me a template, man. I take I take that template, right? As long as it comes, what it does, it makes it faster. It makes it faster, right? If I gotta go and edit something, I go in that template, I go in that code, I changed up pretty good. You know what I'm saying? So I mean that's pretty much my process. Uh, it's it's working for me. So that's my process. So yeah, like subscribe for the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.